Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. So today I decided to recreate this look that I had in one of my previous videos and I didn't really film it because I've just been getting into the mood like before filming I just like chill and do my makeup and like listen to music so I don't necessarily film everything but I decided why not film this springy vibe makeup tutorial and I'm using a fairly affordable palette this is the Chi Cosmetics Night Wind palette so yeah if you guys would like to see how I got this eye makeup look then please keep on watching and don't forget to use whatever you have at home you guys can change up the colors if you want to and yeah let's get into the video now foundation concealer and baking is pretty redundant so i did it off of camera but i will link all the products i use down below in my description bar now moving on to the eyes i'm going to be using my chick cosmetics this is the night wind palette and i'm going to be taking this white shade right here taking it lightly on a flat brush and I'm just going to use it to highlight my brow bone. Taking a fluffy blending brush and going into this red shade right And I'm going to start working this color into my crease. This is going to be our transition shade. And also taking it right on the outer corner of the eye just to create a seamless blend and I'm also not taking this on the lower lash line like I usually do because I want there to be a nice bright pop of color on the lower lash line taking a smaller fluffy brush and this pink shade right here this brush is slightly smaller than the one I just used and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start packing this pink color on the outer corner of the eye as well as the inner corner of the eye and then just sort of tying it in into the crease and then once I am happy with how I built up this color I'm going to go in with that ready shade again and just sort of make sure that we haven't lost that transition color Next I'm taking some LA Girl Pro Conceal, this is in the shade medium beige and I'm going to use this concealer to cut my crease. I'm kind of cutting the center of my lid and then blending it down. So next I'm going to be taking this yellow shade and then I'm going to go in with this pink shade. So picking up this yellow and packing it on the center of the lid not necessarily putting it on the entire area where I cut the halo and then going in with that lighter baby pink shade and I'm just going to apply that to where the darker pink and the yellow meet and then going back in with that brush that I applied the yellow shadow and just making sure that there are no harsh lines whatsoever okay so I quickly did the other eye off of camera and I believe when I initially created this look I did do wings but I feel like today I don't really want to do wings you know? so we're gonna hop on to the lower lash line and I'm gonna go in with two colors oh! I just dug my nail into this color right here. Oh, the joys of having long nails. Okay, so the next two colors I'm going to go in with on my lower lash line is this darker green right here and this baby blue. And I'm picking up this darker green color and I'm just going to pack that halfway on my lower lash as close to the lash line as possible. And I'm just using an angled brush for this. This is actually a bra brush. I'm not too, too stressed about the outer corner because I feel like these shadows blend so nicely so there's no harsh lines. So once I'm done packing on that 
color I'm gonna go in with the baby blue and pack that on the rest of my lower lash line for mascara I'm gonna be using my wet n wild lash renegade I haven't been using some of my lower end mascaras in a while so I'm showing them some love okay so now moving back onto the face I'm just gonna go ahead and just dust off any fallout I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush because the eyes are colorful we don't want the rest of the face to be too bland if that makes sense so I'm just gonna be going in with this really light corally blush right here from my dupe factory 9b blush palette and then for highlights I'm gonna be using my Tazzy B Lime Light Powder this is in the shade flame and this is like a really beautiful like peachy highlight color it's my fave and I'm just going to highlight oh you gotta go really light handed with this because you will be beaming and then definitely not forgetting the inner corner of the eye okay now you can pretty much go in with any lip color with this look but I'm gonna go big or go home today and I'm gonna go in with my Essence soft contouring lip liner this is a purple lip liner and this is in the shade Miss You Much okay and then going in with my MAC amplified lipstick this is in the shade Girl About Town which is a really beautiful pink color and just putting this on my lips Initially when I created this look, I went in with a very subtle purpley vibe, but I figured might as well keep up with the pink vibe on my eyelids, on my lips. So I'm going to go ahead off of camera and apply the Tazzy B Leo lashes. I have a lash tutorial, so I will leave it, leave it up in the cards for you guys, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. And then lastly, finishing off this look with some setting spray. And this is the Kiki Beauty Cool Citrus setting spray. So that is pretty much it for this look. Obviously, the lips is a bit too, too much. Not gonna lie. I generally would go in with something that's a little bit more on the nuder side, but it is what it is. So yeah, if you guys recreate this look, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Sinesh underscore makeup or hashtag Sinesh makeup. Either or, doesn't really matter. And... That is it for this look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, like this video, share with all of your friends and all that great stuff. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to slay all day, every day with or without makeup. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!